What's going on guys? We're from IROC Nation 87, branch off of TJ Nation 87. Oh, my name is Corey and this is the 1987 IROC ZL1 2014 6.2 supercharged LS8 and that's a mouthful my gosh that is such a mouthful. Welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to make you an update. First we'll do an update. Word of the day. John 3 14 18. In the Hebrew camp those in the zones of death were no longer too proud to lift up their eyes to be and be saved. Today only those who know how close they are to dying inside will look up their eyes and say oh lord i believe awesome right awesome right those who have gone through the hard times of trump the, the tragedies and stuff like that they're the ones who actually are the ones who actually see god that doesn't necessarily mean that you in order to see god you have to go through a tragedy you can see god on your own you can see christ in your own image it's devotion Basically, he's seeking out those who are in need. They seek out. They seek out. They seek out comfort. If you seek out comfort the same way they went through pain, you will find Christ. You will find. Him. Trust me. So yeah, guys, look at that. By the way, I wanted to show you something. It came in flex seal sensor. Right, I'm gonna run it that way. I can find a like you've seen the last video. If I could find something like that, the clamp on there. I think I ordered one. Already. Yeah, that's a three eighths. So I'm trying five sixteenths. Let's we'll see if five sixteenths worth it working. We'll just say yeah. The flex seal sensor is there. You want to know what are we doing today? Actually, what are we actually doing today? Well, first let me tell you what we are doing today. And we're gonna bend this back so that I can this part here on here. This part here has to be bent back a little bit like that. So that means this catch can will be tilted a little bit. This has to be bent back a little bit like that. So once this is bent up that way, then I have clearance so I can put that. I already talked to you about this part. The next part will be taking this out and actually doing some measurements and seeing it's like a metal piece that I need to cut. I gotta see that part as well. And the next thing we will be doing is here. Try to do it all today. If not, I'm going to try to do it over the course of the week. That's why this video has been taking a week and the conditions where I'm in. And plus not to mention the two jobs where I'm at. So I literally have no free time. And then I do DoorDash and Instacart sometimes on the free time. So then there's really, that really squeezes this to a minimum as well. And that first, and then cut that second and cut this third so that way I make it turn differently a bit more clearance and to turn this differently so i can run this well and i can cut this thing right here i don't know if you guys see it then i can cut that in half the last thing that i want to do is they're not going to go in order just because i'm saying it in this order doesn't mean necessarily mean that they'll go in that order i'm also going to cut down here enough for the ac so i can slide the ac in and that ac is in then i can put the belt on and then I can put the supercharger belt on. Easier said than done. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. And then it's the weather. It's super cold out right now. <sighs> That's why I have my custom warm, my custom hand warmer. So here we go. I was able to bend that. So now that fits perfectly in there. And I gotta figure out some way how to get a longer. Hold on. Let me put this cup down and that back up figure out some way how to get a longer one of those things now because it's going to be going up this way because the belt's going to be coming this way there's enough clearance for the belt to go that way now the next thing i'm going to be working on is that bracket so now i'm going to be taking out the two pulleys and working around that bracket so i can figure something out so that's the next step this took a little bit longer than when i saw it was going to happen because it's super cold out here so i'm working around that looks like there's also something else that i got to do with the headers actually to yeah, because there's like header space and this, this leakage that needs to be tightened up. So let me go and do this. Well, that's already done. Now it's this part with the pulleys. All right, guys. So right now, I got this whole assembly started. Both of the belts are on right now, but I'm trying to figure out why the supercharger belt is strong there. I think maybe I need another pulley there. I don't know. I have to look. As far as the belt routing, the belt, like, I got to, of course, move this so I can put that belt on as far as the belts are going that's how it's supposed to be ran so i'll figure out what's going on later on 
we'll figure out what's going on later on. The super the, like the LSA is is like that. That's let me brighten this up. Like that's how the belt is ran right now, as far as the LSA. Now, now it's ran, so we'll figure it out in a second. All right, guys. So as you see, the assembly is right. <clears throat> I found out how it goes, and I literally cut that piece for nothing. Uh, you know, part of the water pump. I literally cut that for nothing. Luckily, it still can work. I'll talk to you again once that airplane goes by. So, like I said, all I got to do is I got to take un unscrew this like I'm doing right now. Because once I do this, I take this wheel off and I set this wheel. And I literally have to make a drill mark here. As you can see, you can see right here there's right there's a bolt right there if i can move like move this i'll take this out of here and loosen that up and have this bolt drill a hole through there so it can connect there we're fine so what i got to do now you can see how off it is so let me do that that's the one that was stripped yeah that was the one that was stripped Ah, oh, great. Okay, hold on. Where it won't do the light in 4K, but it did it before, but now it's not. Actually, let me just take it off of 4K. So, you guys get a good understanding. Hold on. Just do this, just to get it off of 4K for a second. Just shoot it on 4K so I can... Apparently, this is the only way I can shoot the light. But, here we go. I just need to get a longer... Well, I need to get a different belt, actually. And I won't even lie to you guys. It's The belt is actually... There's a brick right there to... Make sure it's wide down there. But the accessory drive is good. Like I said, I'm holding that down because I gotta... I still gotta use... I still gotta cut that, so I might cut that later on. Well, because they're, they're gonna cut down there so I can slide that... AC compressor over. That's more cutting. I'm not able to do that right now. So that's why things are only for temporarily. This is exactly how it will look as soon as you like that. As soon as I can get to find the right size belt, because apparently this is not the right size belt for the supercharger. That's how it goes on. And you can't do it with this water pump. You just gotta. You don't even have to do modifications. I don't know why I did modification. I thought it wouldn't work, but you don't even have to do modifications. You switch this water pump. You can make this water pump work with this. This outlet can be on any side and it'll work. Still trying to figure out this here, this power steering. And like I said, I might have to make a longer bracket. But for the most part, we are good. Like for the most part, everything, is working well. This this is not interfering. The supercharger thing is not interfering. It's not interfering with this. This one here. With the, the like the regular accessory drive belt. Like all that stuff is working well. Everything is on and working well. I have that bent. So I did. So today I did one. I got one, two, three, because I drilled a hole in there. There's something that's blocking it, and I don't know, there's thing, there's something that's, it was stripped, and I just had to put it down, and I got to tap into it. I know how to tap, I know how to tap into things now. So I have to tap into that, and I cut that down. I shouldn't have cut that down. Now everything is good, so I don't have to worry about uh, any of this, because the accessory drive is good, and you, don't, and you see it's barely, barely even touching anything. So this extra drive, the supercharger, it's done. I just have to find a smaller belt regarding about the supercharger belt. That's it. I will, I want to do a side, I want to do a two, four or five pulley and I want to upgrade the pulley at the bottom. I don't know, we'll see, to create more boost. I want at least 20 pounds. I want to at least get 20 to 25 pounds in this. If I can at least get 20 to 25 pounds in this, it will be good. That's going to take some time though. If we get some pounds, I want this to 20 to 25 pounds. So the majority of the stuff that we got here is done, except for the AC compressor. 
I would say this vlog is actually pretty done. I got the accessory drive and the supercharger thing on. It's just the fact that I need a longer supercharger pulley to go on here. And then once I have a longer supercharger pulley, then everything should be good. And there you got the whole gist of everything. Plus not to mention the E85 sensor. A new thing that I found, but it's not on there 100%, a lot better than what it was. I know the size, I gotta see something and see if I can make that work, I don't know. Yeah. All I say is it's looking very good now. It's, it's looking a lot better. My hands are freezing now, right now. The LSA build is looking a lot better. So RX Z01 is just waiting on the injectors and harness. It's, the injectors should be coming pretty soon, actually. I won't even lie to you because I just got tired of waiting. And I was going to wait for a little bit, but I was like, nah, I want to get that now. Get that now. And still got to do the video on this. That will be its own video. And I think the AC compressor might be its own video. So I got two more videos coming up for you guys. Try to keep them rolling for 2022. And by the way, remember this light? It is working now. So now I can do videos at night because I wasn't able to because like I said, I wasn't able to because like I said, um, that light only has only has that light to work with, but now I got that light right there. So now we are back in business. So I'm gonna test that light. I'm gonna test that light for the night. Sorry, right, hold on. So I'm gonna test that later on today. Tonight, well tonight. So yep. Let's calm down. I'm going to test that light later on tonight and look at everything. But yeah. Dragon ZL1 is good. So you already got, you guys already know what's coming up next. So, all right. I am going to do some DoorDash and Instacart and help my fiance out. And we are going to do our own thing for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back tonight and I will close out with the light. All right, guys. Testing out that new light. It's not as bright as the other one, but it's bright enough. But yeah, now it's like this in the nighttime. Make sure nothing fogs up. Everything's all great now. Yeah, just had a. That looks nice. Hold on, let's try to get a picture. Hold on, <laughs> let me try. That's cool. <clears throat> But anyway, um, I'm going to close out right now. So if you were stopping in for the first time, please like, subscribe, comment down below. You want to get a notification whenever my video comes out. Hit that notification bell, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, ED Nation 87, Roxy Nation 87 as well, and the Mology channel, and uh, Dragon Z all along. So with that being said, keep it T, Z all the way to the end, guys. Take care. Have a blessed night this is with the light off up my brightness a little bit but that's with the light sweat out of light but it's good enough good enough for me to do this all right guys until next time until next time Next day, I just wanted to get a little shot of the belt of the Solo Say Supercharger. And yes. All right. Now let's end it. Mm -hmm.